Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to be going over the anatomy of the ear. So the first thing we're going to be going over is basically, yeah, just the general anatomy of the ear. Basically, the point of where there's, so imagine there's sound entering here, right? Sound is nothing but vibrations. So this is really important to understand, right? Because sound is just vibrations. And what our hearing auditory system does is it converts um, sound slash vibration energy into electrical impulses, which is a process called transduction, right? Okay, so the first thing we're gonna go over is where the point at where sound enters your ear is called your pinnae. That's basically this point over here. From the pinnae, it enters the external auditory canal. So this is where your sound vibrations would travel, right? So let's see. Yeah. The travel from, oops, there's a bad color to use. The travel from here, 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 here until it reaches something called your tympanic membrane. So basically, I'm sure you've heard of your tympanic membrane before. Your tympanic membrane is basically something called your eardrum. So the vibrations will vibrate your eardrum, which will cause the ma malus, incus, and the stapes. So where's the stapes? Oh, there we go. To tap to move on each other which will call the stapes to tap on something called your oval window. Vibrations from the oval window will cause the hairs in the cochlea to move front and backwards, right? And by moving front and backwards, this will cause the hair cells that are present inside the cochlea, uh, so they look somewhat like this, to move forward and backwards, which opens up small electrical channels, right? So basically, if say this is a standing hair cell and a bent hair cell will basically look something like this whole, oops, that's a really bad egg. But this is obviously way out of scale, but yeah, it's a little bit thicker. And this will allow ions in the surrounding cochlear fluid to enter the hair cell and send electrical co um, conduction through the cochlear nerve, which is your auditory nerve. So let's have a quick review, right? First, what's important to understand is that as sound energy enters the ear, it vibrates against your eardrum, which causes the malus, incus, and state base, which are also known as the anvil, hammer, and I think stirrup. Yeah, anvil, hammer, and stirrup to tap on the oval membrane which causes vibrations in the cochlea and which causes hair cells in the cochlea to move forward and backwards. The moving of forwards and backwards will cause small channels in the hair cells to open, allowing ions in the surrounding fluid to enter and create electrical signals which pass through the cochlear nerve. The process of converting sound energy to electrical impulses is known as transduction. This is similar to the phenomenon that we saw in the visual system, as in the visual system, we converted light energy into electrical impulses. Similarly, here, we're converting sound energy into electrical impulses. Um, and yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please comment below or write me an email at stemwme at gmail.com. Thank you so much. Bye.